Okay, it's December 11th, and we have... I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it right here. There you go. 24 degrees. 24 degrees. 43, 424.7. 43, 424.7. Well, so far, the warm-up has not happened except just in a couple little days but I guess come next Wednesday we may even be hitting a high near 50 so I don't know that'll be nice in a way less rides to get in but a nice warm-up would be good too my subject for today is global warming and uh, as usual I have a different answer for it than most people. Is it human caused? Yes it is human caused, but is it caused by what people think it is caused by? No. And I'm surprised again that people did not put two and two together because these are two things that coincided so dramatically that I would think anybody should be able to pick up on this. Now uh, if you notice global warming didn't even start being talked about until after the 70s were over, but something happened in the beginning of the 70s, actually goes back to World War II and even World War I, that had the greatest influence on this. And that is, anybody want to guess? Daylight Savings Time. Yeah, yeah, I know you're saying, wait, Daylight Savings Time and Global Warming? That don't make any sense. Well, just hear me out here. I'll put this together for you. And when you hear it... You're going to be amazed again. I mean, I just, I'm good at that, at amazing people with my theories. So anyway, we had uh, short periods of time in World War I and World War II where uh, they had daylight savings time so we could have an extra hour of daylight. And uh, then it kind of fell out of disfavor again until the 70s. And then they went back into it again in limited areas and stuff like that. But then eventually, I think by about 1980, everybody got on board. And then you started hearing about global warming. Well, just think about it, with an extra hour of daylight, and especially since, what, 2007 when they extended it for even longer, you know, it, 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 it's a couple weeks early and lasts a couple weeks more. So, uh, yeah, you've got all that time where you have that extra hour of daylight, and if you look back in Scientific American when they first started talking about daylight savings time, even the farmers caught on to the um, deal here that... Uh, what was going to end up happening is that extra hour of sunlight was going to burn their crops. And see, even the farmers were in on this kind of deal and how it was going to happen. So you figure you take an average 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of night, and add an extra hour on it. That's about an extra 8% of sunshine. So if anything's going to warm anything up, and if you look at the charts, especially, you know, they start zooming up in the 70s and 80s. They do start, and then they even get faster and faster. And then by the time you get 2007, wow, they're just... Uh, going crazy with that global warming well I think what we need to do really is uh, eliminate the daylight savings time and cut out that extra one hour of sun you know let the sun have a rest for the extra hour don't make it shine any longer than it needs to be and give us all that extra heat and then we can go back to a cooling trend in fact uh, you know maybe to counteract it we would knock back two hours off of a uh, daylight savings time so we would go to like a standard time minus an hour call it negative daylight savings time and cut back on that sunlight even a little bit more so yeah I know all of you right now you're just about slapping yourself on the forehead saying my god why didn't I think about this but you know that's why you got me that's what I'm here for I look at these trends I look at these patterns and sometimes you see two things just line up so well that you just know it has to be. I mean, I'm like a, a rolling public service announcement on a motorcycle, I think. So anyway, I'm about here. I'm gonna pull around back. <laughs> I thought I saw the truck over here. Oh no, that's not, that's another truck. Get inside my nice heated garage. Uh oh, the other truck isn't here right now, so we'll see. I'll go find it. Anyway, we'll stop right here and give the odometer reading. Odometer reading of 